Good bitter, Orson. I would now like to ask Dr. Tina Pugliese, who is the director of our School of Dramatic Art, to read the citation for our very distinguished recipient today of honorary doctorate. Tina. Popular lady. Amanda Tapping. Amanda Tapping is a celebrated and gifted television and film artist. She is recognized by her loyal fans as the Grand Empress of Sci-Fi. She has captured our imaginations through her many varied characters and is best known for her role as Air Force Captain Major Samantha Carter for 12 seasons on the MGM television series Stargate One. As well, yes. <laughs> as well as its spin-offs, Stargate Atlantis and Stargate Universe. From there, Amanda went on to play the lead role as Dr. Helen Magnus on the television series Sanctuary. From, from Sanctuary and Naomi in Supernatural. Other appearances on popular TV series include Due South, The Newsroom, The X-Files, and Motive. She is a recurring character on the City TV comedy sitcom Package Deal. She recently completed work on five films, Space Milkshake, Random Acts of Romance, Taken Back, Hell in a Handbag, and Kid Cannabis. Amanda's achievements as a performing artist include projects from behind the camera. She served as executive producer and director for several episodes of the series Sanctuary. She directed Stargate SG-1's Resurrection and garnered a Leo Award nomination for Best Director. She directed three episodes each of Primeval New World, Arctic Air, and Continuum. She will be directing two new series this summer, Strange Empire and the mythological drama Olympus, a Canadian-British co-production to premiere in 2015. Throughout her career, Amanda's stellar work has earned much recognition. Four Leo Awards for Best Actress, nominations for two Gemini Awards, four Saturn Awards, and won the 2005 Saturn Award for Best Supporting Actress. Her work in the short film Breakdown earned her a Canadian Comedy Award. She was honored with the Women in Films Woman of Vision Award, the YMCA Woman of Distinction Connecting the Community Award, and recently the Jules Verne Award for her humanitarian work. Having achieved exceptional success in her career, Amanda is making significant contributions supporting various charities and organizations, such as the Coast Foundation, a support agency for people with mental disabilities, the Canadian Cancer Society, UNICEF, and V-Day, to help end violence against women and girls worldwide. She also sits on the Leadership Council for Waterkeeper Alliance. But most dear to Amanda is the charitable foundation Sanctuary for Kids, which she launched and co-founded in 2009. Sanctuary for Kids supports both local and global children's charities, helping children around the world who need protection and are in crisis. In closing, we are very proud today to note that Amanda Tapping's rich and varied career took root here on our very own campus, in the modest rooms of the old School of Dramatic Art building and on the University Players stage. In 19, yes, wow. <laughs> in 1987, Amanda played Sarah in the play Children of a Lesser God. Her work was critically acclaimed in reviews on both sides of the border. Diana Mady Kelly, the show's director, recalls one Detroit critic who wrote that if any readers wanted a lesson on acting, they should go to the University of Windsor to see Amanda Tapping in Children of a Lesser God. He observed that Amanda's performance towered over the one he had seen in the popular movie that won the actress the Oscar. The School of Dramatic Art and the University of Windsor recognize Amanda Tapping as one of its most distinguished alumni. She is an inspiring role model for our new graduates. <coughs> Mr. Chancellor, 
It is for these reasons that I present to you Amanda Tapping for the degree of Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the laws of the province of Ontario, in accordance with the recommendation of the Senate of the University of Windsor, I confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Laws, honoris causa, with all the rights, privileges, and honors here and elsewhere thereto appertaining. Congratulations, Amanda. Fantastic. 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 Duck your head a bit. This is yours. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to take advantage of it, right? <laughs> It's now my pleasure to ask Dr. Topping to address convocation. Hello. <laughs> wow, I sound good on paper. Thank you, Chancellor Lumley, President Wildman, and the faculty and staff of the University of Windsor for this wonderful and most unexpected honor. It's a great privilege to be awarded this honorary degree for my alma mater. And it's especially a great privilege to be asked to speak to you all today. It is humbling and quite honestly scary as hell, but it is a huge honor. You made it! Congratulations, you are here at this most auspicious occasion. You're graduating. Yay! You survived Frosh Week, for those of you that remember it. Uh, you survived exams and essays, late night study sessions, the other late night sessions. <laughs> you learned the value of a good argument and the value of a good hangover cure. You went from being high school kids to becoming adults, graduating from university. Congratulations, it is indeed a huge accomplishment. <laughs> now, I remember my own graduation and my overwhelming feeling of excitement and utter terror. Although my parents were supportive, becoming an actress was not the career they would have chosen for me. They wanted me to have a stable job and a, a stable life. And there I was, about to embark on a life that appeared to be anything but stable. What would life be like outside these walls without a timetable and a structure with no job prospects? A BFA in acting. What does one do with that? <laughs> Waitress, naturally. <laughs> but beyond that, I had no idea. I had no idea how to live my life, how to get a job, how to build a resume. I was freaking out. But I needn't have. Life rolled out the way it was meant to. And I can honestly tell you that it will all be fine. Great, in fact. In many ways, life will take care of itself. What you need to do is take care of yourselves. Now, I left this school vowing that I would never do television. I wouldn't prostitute myself for my art. <laughs> I would only do theater and really deep and meaningful art films, preferably in black and white. <laughs> my first paying job was a commercial for Tim Horton's Donuts. It was in color, and it was for Oprah and Muffins. Yeah, it was not the auspicious start to my career that I was hoping for, but besides paying my rent, it taught me something valuable. I may not have been in the place that I thought that I should be in, but I had fun. I found great joy in the goofiness of that job, the total absurdity of that job, and I vowed that I would always look for that joy on every job I did, and I encourage you to do the same. Find the absurdity, it won't be hard, there's a lot of it, and find the joy. Now my career has had me running around in the woods in army boots chasing after pretend aliens. I then ran around in stilettos chasing after pretend monsters, and I have to say with all honesty, I learned to do that here at the University of Windsor. I learned how to be in the moment and to embrace it was, while I was here. I had a lot of help from Dr. Diana Mady Kelly. 
She taught me how to be strong and to stand up for myself and also to savor the moment. And this has been invaluable in my career and most importantly in my life. I had the goal of becoming an actress. Have I done what I envisioned doing? No, not even close. But it has been so much fun and so incredibly fulfilling. I couldn't have planned this, I just pursued it. And it's led me to the most amazing places and to a further career in directing and producing something that my 23-year-old self could never have envisioned. So I say this to you, by following your heart and your passion and your gut, and by doing it with the unassailable integrity of which we are all capable, you will become what you are meant to be. We spend so much time worrying about what's coming down the road at us instead of just living in the moment. Don't be afraid of what's coming down the road. Unless it's a big 18-wheeler and then you should probably be afraid and jump out of the way, I'm just saying, but... <laughs> don't follow someone else's idea of what your life should be. Be it your parents or your friends or perhaps most pervasively the media. No one can tell you or teach you what your life should be. You learn it simply by living. And we're all told about this great ideal of success. Success. It's ridiculous and elusive. Success is not a bank account or a job title. Success is waking up in the morning and looking forward to that day. Success is putting your head on your pillow at night and being proud of how you lived that day. Success is choosing a path or a partner or a job or a hobby that makes you smile and that makes you laugh. Success is living a life with compassion and joy and genuine wonder and giving that compassion, joy and wonder back to others. Always, always give back. Believe me when I say it is the most satisfying and meaningful thing that you will ever do. I leave you with this. I heard a saying way, way back when I was here at the University of Windsor, a saying that shaped me in the most unexpected way. From the hallowed halls of academia, I give you this. I wish I were a glowworm. A glowworm's never glum. For how can you be grumpy when the sun shines out your bum? <laughs> Today, you are all shiny glowworms. Yes, you are. Never lose that. The future is bright because you will be contributing to it. And you are the generation to do it. Truly, you are. I mean, let's be honest, we've mucked things up a bit. You inherit our mistakes in spite of our optimism. You inherit our finances in spite of our ego. You inherit our environment in spite of our concern. So it's down to you and your youthful exuberance and your intelligence and your spirit and your compassion and your joy and your wonder. So, you know, no pressure. <laughs> Just shine on. Congratulations. I wish you much joy. Thank you. That's a tough act to follow, but um, I'm going to ask Dr. Bob Orr, who's, uh, who's our provost and uh, vice president academic, to make some very announcements, some very important student awards. Bob? 